You may have seen rogues like Antivirus 7 or AV7 around, but, you know, those aren't over the top enough. Let's have Antivirus 8. Doesn't correlate to anything, but let's have it anyway. And the problem is, this damn thing doesn't want to run in any virtual machine, not even Threat Expert. So, we're going to have to run it on this old standalone. Problem is, it's a pain in the ass to set up. Let's do it. So, as you can tell, we're going to be testing a rogue called Antivirus 8. And Antivirus 8 is a clone of a rogue called Antivirus 7, which I've already covered. Anyway, here's the main page, and it still looks like AVG, in the fact that you can uh, check all the modules and stuff. Check the settings of the modules, got some settings right there, We've got some support. This opens up a support page, let's have a look at it. Alright, it wants you to put in your contact info, and there's a thing to reset your password or something by putting in an email address. Let's go ahead and do that. And it gives you an error saying that it can't find the email in its database, and it seems that Persi, P-E-R-C-I. Not sure why it's cut off like that. And here's the main home page, and you know, it's got a little bit of English, but it's not too bad. Got some uh, stats about Antivirus 8. Let's see, we've also got some technical requirements. Got some support and services. You know, your basic stuff. Let's get back to the Rogue. Anyway, here is the scanner. You know, it's your basic scanner. Get your license page. Okay, we got some updates. You have to buy it to get the updates. And in the help department, we have a chat room, which is down right now. But that is pretty much it for Antivirus 8. I mean, once you get past the novelty of it having the number 8 in there, um, there's really not much to it. And I'm sure it does some other things to infect the computer, but I'm really not looking for it right now. So that is it for Antivirus 8.